Whole Foods Market has savings to power your day during the Kickstart the Season event. Take advantage of a huge sale on all supplements like vitamins, protein powders, probiotics, and more. There's a sale on all packaged coffee to get you back in the groove. Plus, find wallet happy prices on breakfast like organic eggs and bacon from 365 by Whole Foods Market. And when the week gets busy, bring home a family meal and let the pros do the cooking. Kickstart fall at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. It's back to school time. And honestly, I'm a little worried about getting up out of bed to teach my classes. These new sheets I got from Brooklinen are just too good. Brooklinen is the internet's favorite sheets. And according to Wirecutter and Good Housekeeping, Brooklinen has best-in-class bedding. So if you don't trust me or their 100,000 five-star customer reviews, you know these experts have done the research. Brooklinen uses only the highest quality materials for all of their products, so everything they create is built to last. And not to mention, they're stylish. Comfortability and quality go a long way for me, as they do for anyone. But stylish? That makes Brooklinen a triple threat. So shop in store or online at brooklinen.com today to give yourself the luxurious sleep you deserve this summer. Use promo code OHD for $20 off your online purchase of $100 or more, plus free shipping on brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N dot C-O-M. Use promo code OHD for $20 off, plus free shipping. It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 2276, and I'm Dr. Neil, your host of the show. Welcome back to another Friday show where I answer your questions. On all the other days, I read health and fitness blogs to you like an audiobook, with permission from the authors, of course. Now, I'll let you know how you can send in your own question at the end of the show and get a copy of our workbook for free. But for now, let's hear today's question and start optimizing your life. Today's question came to me via email. Sabrina M. writes, Hello, Dr. Neal. I've been meaning to thank you for some time now. You're now officially part of my morning routine. Your content provides inspiration and helps me start the day on the right foot. On to my question. I'm a 47-year-old woman with a tendency to gain weight in my upper body. I'm about 5 feet 3 inches tall and weigh 128 pounds. I've been working with a food coach and functional medicine doctor and quickly learned that Keto-type diets just don't work for me. Great lesson that we all need a custom diet that makes sense for us. So I'm almost at my ideal weight, but I tend to carry weight up top, especially my midsection. And I wonder if I should upgrade my exercise routine so that I focus more on building my lower body with weights and perhaps increase my cardio, which I do too little of, so that I can maybe lose belly fat. How much control do I have on changing my body composition? I'm so grateful for your help. Hi, Sabrina. Thank you so much for your kind words. Thank you for being a regular listener. And thank you for sending in your question. I appreciate you. Now, when it comes to where on the body we hold on to fat, we have very little control over this aspect, unfortunately. We can change some of our genetics, like how quickly we burn fat for energy. But for some reason, we can't seem to change this part of our genetic makeup, the part that determines where on the body we hold on to fat stores. So if your parents were more likely to hold fat around the belly, then that's probably where your body will want to hold on to it. If your parents were more likely to hold on to fat around their hips, then that's where your body will probably prefer to hang on to it. I'll explain. Let's assume that a person's genetics says that they will hold on to more fat around the belly button because that's where their parents' bodies tended to hold on to their fat. As the person lives their life, they may never end up holding on to fat around their abdomen. What's going on? Didn't I just say that that's more likely to happen? Well, if the person follows a balanced lifestyle and burns the right amount of calories each day, their body has no need to collect extra fat around the midsection. But if the person consumes too many calories, and this continues for years, well now, the body's gonna try and convert those extra calories to fat. And given the person's genetics, that fat isn't going to the hips, the arms, or the chest. It's going to the area around the belly button. Now, the same goes for losing body fat. 
Let's say this same hypothetical person is losing weight. Since their body likes to hold on to fat around the belly button, does that mean their body would like to get rid of the fat around the belly button too? No, quite the opposite. Since the body prefers to hold on to fat around the midsection, it will also prefer to hang on to this fat for as long as possible. Isn't that great news? Listen, I'm one of these individuals. A while ago, I put on some holiday weight. Guess where all of that weight went? Right to my belly. When I tried to lose that weight, that was the last part of my body that seemed to want to give up its stores. I feel like I'm still trying to get rid of that last little bit. Anywho, going back to your question, Sabrina, to help shape the body, I would think about mixing up your fitness routine. As you mentioned, incorporating some cardiovascular activity is a great idea. You could also think about trying a program where both cardio and resistance training are combined, like boot camp style workouts or CrossFit. Studies are finding that these forms of high intensity interval training may help reduce body fat. But in order for them to work, they have to be performed consistently for some time. Think months and years as opposed to days and weeks. And like I always say, if you want any hope of sticking to something, you're probably going to have to enjoy it on some level. Otherwise, you're gonna stop. So if you find you don't like boot camp style workouts or CrossFit, try other high intensity training methods. Now, Sabrina, even though I don't know all of the specifics of your current fitness level, I'm going to still propose a sample weekly workout routine. I would encourage you to discuss this with your doctor to be sure it would suit you and your goals and to see if any adjustments need to be made. Now that that disclaimer is out of the way, here it goes. Monday, do 45 to 60 minutes of mild to moderate intensity cardio. Think brisk walking, jogging, bicycling, swimming, rowing, whatever you prefer, all performed at a mild to moderate intensity. Now, an easy way to know whether you're performing exercises at a mild to moderate intensity is you should be able to talk when performing the workout, meaning the workout shouldn't be so difficult that you can't talk because you're breathing so hard. If you can talk, it means you're within that mild to moderate intensity, which is perfect. Tuesday, full body resistance workout. Consider spending some extra time on legs, so think squats, deadlifts, and lunges especially. Wednesday, 60 minutes of light cardio, like a long walk. Thursday, full body, high intensity training workout. Maybe this is the day you decide to do a CrossFit or boot camp style workout. Friday, 60 minutes of light cardio. Saturday, resistance training. But you could also think about doing yoga or Pilates as a form of resistance training. And those will both incorporate some flexibility training as well. And finally, Sunday, rest. Now, this routine is fine for a while but you're gonna wanna change it up after four to six weeks. Mix up the days, change the length of time you spend performing these workouts, change the types of exercises you perform for different muscle groups, etc. Variety is important. If you usually walk for 45 minutes, try jogging for just 15 minutes. If you've been focusing on legs during your resistance training sessions, give them a rest and work the upper body. You get the idea. I hope this helps and I wish you continued success. One of the OLD Network's core values is helping you to keep your mind sharp. Well, I've been leveling up my focus with Word Collect, which is a free word puzzle app with over 2,000 levels. Word Collect gets harder as you get better, so it's a fun and challenging way to keep your brain sharp and grow your vocabulary. I highly recommend you give this fun and addicting brain game a try. And right now, Word Collect is offering you 2,500 coins and 500 gems when you download and play. And those coins help. You'll need them when you're having a hard time reaching the next level. I've been there a few times and I'm thankful they made it easier for me to keep going because I don't want to stop playing. So stop mindlessly scrolling through social media and keep your mind sharp. Just go to the Apple or Google store and search for Word Collect. So if you're like me and want to get fit with your mind and body, Download Word Collect for free today. 
Whole Foods Market has savings to power your day during the Kickstart the Season event. Take advantage of a huge sale on all supplements like vitamins, protein powders, probiotics, and more. There's a sale on all packaged coffee to get you back in the groove. Plus, find wallet happy prices on breakfast like organic eggs and bacon from $3.65 by Whole Foods Market. And when the week gets busy, bring home a family meal and let the pros do the cooking. Kickstart fall at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. Thank you so much for taking the time to send in your question, Sabrina. Now, if you want a physical copy of our Optimal Living Daily Workbook shipped to you for free and you're in the US, send in a relevant health-related question. It can be about diet, fitness, nutrition, even stress management, anything along those lines, and your question will be answered right here on the show. If you're outside the US, we'll send you a digital version of the workbook. So to send in a question, you can email one to health at oldpodcast.com. Or if you want to send in an audio question and have your voice played on the show, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask to record from your computer. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way and call in your question. The number is 61 I love ohd That's 1-614-568-3643. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. Answering them is my favorite part of the show. All right, that's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for listening every day and all the way through. I hope you have a great start to your weekend. And of course, I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.